Gryffindor, huh? Better make way for a Slytherin. It's not fair. He scares me. Professor Snape gives me the creeps. I saw Ron down in the entrance hall. I wish I could be a seeker. Gryffindor, huh? Better make way for a Slytherin. Gryffindor, huh? Better make way for a Slytherin. Next is our potions lesson. And it looks like we're already late. Five minutes from Gryffindor. Potter, 
go to the dungeons and fetch the potion ingredients for the class. Bring back Wigan Tree Bark, Moly, Dittany, and Flubberworm mucus. Be quick about it, or I shall deduct house points from Gryffindor. Now be gone, and don't come back without the ingredients. Where am I? I wonder if Snake tricked me.
late again, you lazy boy. A further three points from Gryffindor should teach you a lesson. I see you've collected a few challenge stars, but I'm afraid they have no value in my classroom. I've ended the lesson without you, Potter. The other students are off to the Halloween feast. Join them, if you must. Harry! A huge troll is on the rampage! It's cornered Hermione in the girls' bathroom! She needs our help! We must try to rescue her straight away! What's that smell?
has just been knocked out. Come on, let's get out of here. Exhausted from their encounter with the troll, Harry, Ron, and Hermione returned to the Gryffindor Common Room to common discuss the strange goings on at Hogwarts. Harry suspected that someone had released the troll to distract everyone so that they could get into the Forbidden Corridor. But there wasn't much time to think about who was behind this, especially since Harry was busy preparing for the second Quidditch match against Ravenclaw. Welcome to Quidditch! I'm your commentator, Lee Jordan! It's Gryffindor versus Ravenclaw! Raven! Play Quidditch! There's the snitch! Roger! Here comes the Ravenclaw seeker! Dodge is a speeding Roger! Hot is a snitch! Come on, Gryffindor! Oh, uh, sorry, Professor. Come on, Harry! Um, sorry, Professor. Oh, that was run! Stay with it, Harry! their free time in Hagrid's hut, trying to convince him that he couldn't keep Norbert his beloved dragon. Eventually, after much coaxing, Hagrid agreed. Harry unwrapped the unexpected Christmas present. Something fluid and silvery slithered out. Invisibility cloak, said Ron. They're very rare. There was a note with the cloak. Your father left this in my possession, Harry read. Use it well. A very Merry Christmas to you. Harry tried on the cloak, while Ron and Hermione helped him prepare for the climb up the tower. Be careful, Harry, said Hermione. You can't stay invisible while you cast the wells. Filch might see you. Norbert safely bundled up, Harry set off for the tallest tower. He hoped that the cloak would conceal him from Filch and his cat, Mrs. Norris. <laughs> Come 
cosa, ¿eh? Sí. safely bundled up, Harry set off for the tallest tower. He hoped that the cloak would conceal him from Filch and his cat, Mrs. Norris.
intruder. Intruder in the forbidden corridor. Ugh.
Ugh. Filch and makes a fool of him. think I'm blind? I'm not letting anyone into that tower tonight. along the way. Corridor. Ron's brother Charlie had arranged to collect the dragon from the tower and return him to Romania.
Mrs. Norris. I could have sworn I heard footsteps in here, but... Yeah, blah. Let's check the library, my sweet. you for sure this time. Quick, Mrs. Norris, you keep watch from above. You'll not get past me now, you rotten little gutter snipes. And when I do, you'll regret it. victory. Yes, well done, Harry. On to the cuppy, what?
do, uh, you regret it. Uh, uh. Reflected in the mirror of Erised were Harry's parents, James and Lily Potter. Harry stared hungrily back as though hoping to fall right through the glass and reach them. He was startled when a voice sounded behind him. Harry turned slowly about. So you, like hundreds before you, have discovered the delights of the mirror of Erised, said Professor Dumbledore. He went on to explain that the mirror showed nothing more or nothing less than the deepest most desperate desire of our hearts, but that it would give neither knowledge nor truth. The mirror of Erised will be moved to a new home shortly, Dumbledore went on, adding ominously that if Harry ever came across it again, he would be prepared. But prepared for what, thought Harry. Filthy whelps gave us the slip, Mrs. Norris. I've locked the only door out of here for the sake of me nerves. Stay here and watch the library for a bit, my dear.
Come out, come out wherever you are. Five beans for us. <laughs> ah! That's it. That's all the beans we need. Thanks, Harry. We couldn't have done it without you. Here's a wizard card for you. You've earned it. Thanks, Harry. We really needed these. Remember, you don't know anything about us collecting beans. It'll be our secret, right? Come on, George. We've got work to do. Sorcerer's Stone. It could 
produce the elixir of life, a potion that would make anyone immortal. No wonder someone's trying to get it. Anyone would want it, said Harry. Hermione suspected that the package Hagrid had taken from Gringotts contained the Sorcerer's Stone. It was the Sorcerer's Stone that was down the Forbidden Corridor, being guarded by whatever it was that had growled at them. Snape's been acting very suspicious lately. He may be planning to steal the Sorcerer's Stone. But there's no way Snape would try anything while Dumbledore's around. But Dumbledore left ten minutes ago for the Ministry of Magic in London. That must mean that tonight's the night. Let's go! What about Filch? He's always watching the Forbidden Corridor. We'll just have to take our chances then. It looks like Filch is somewhere else tonight. Come on, let's go! where the growling has been coming from. Hear that? I don't think we should go in there. But we've got to stop Snape. Go on, Harry. We're right behind you. The Fluffy. I'll try the food. That might put Fluffy to sleep for a while. Do be careful.
Jesús. in herbology. Help! It's a devil's snare! Try not to get too close to those tentacles. Incendio! 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 Incendio!
next puzzle is a gigantic chessboard. Ron's gone through to play. I hope he's all right. Defeated most of the pieces, but I've been hurt. It's up to you now, Harry. <sighs> Harry, you have to be careful and avoid the pieces. They all move one square at a time. You'll have to make the pieces fight each other in order to get across safely. Walk onto the board, Harry, to start the game. Do be careful. most of the pieces but I've been hurt it's up to you now Harry <sighs> Harry you have to be careful and avoid the pieces they all move one square at a time you'll have to make the pieces fight each other in order to get across safely walk onto the board Harry to start the game do be careful most of the pieces but I've been hurt it's up to you now Harry <sighs> Harry you have to be careful and avoid the pieces they all move one square at a time you'll have to make the pieces fight each other in order to get across safely walk onto the board Harry to start the game do be careful
Oh no! The exit is blocked by magical fire. Looks like you have to choose the right potion. Be careful, Harry. It could be poison. This one looks like it will help us through the fire. Watch closely and keep your eye on the correct potion. Then choose wisely. again. suppose you were expecting someone else. Well, it's me, scared, stuttering Professor Quirrell. You're far too inquisitive to remain among the living.
not succeed again. Give me the stone. Let me speak to him face to face. Master, you're, you're not strong enough. I have strength enough for this.
Give me the stone. Let me speak to him face to face. Master, you're, you're not strong enough. I have strength enough for this. Dumbledore smiled. What happened down in the dungeons between yourself and Professor Quirrell is a complete secret, he said. So naturally, the whole school knows. The stone had been destroyed, but Harry remained fearful that its loss would not prevent Lord Voldemort's return. Dumbledore nodded, sharing his concern. Nevertheless, Harry, if our battles do no more than slow Voldemort's return, with luck he may never regain his power at all. Harry made his way down to the end of the year feast alone that night. The great hall was decked out in green and silver to celebrate Slytherin winning the House Cup. When Harry entered, there was a sudden hush. He took a seat between Ron and Hermione trying to ignore the stares of the other students. The House Cup, announced Dumbledore. 
is awarded to the team with the most house points. At the moment, that would seem to be Slytherin. A storm of cheering and stamping broke out from the Slytherin table. However, continued Dumbledore, in recognition of Mr. Harry Potter's pure nerve and outstanding courage, I award Gryffindor 60 points. Harry's table erupted with cheers and applause. The additional points had won the House Cup for Gryffindor. It was the best evening of Harry's life. Better than winning at Quidditch or Christmas or knocking out mountain trolls. He would never, ever forget tonight.